Life requires energy. So why are we using precious energy, moving a ton to move a person in congested, repetitive urban transportation? We're facing critical issues with stability in oil supply and depletion. U.S. oil production peaked in 1970. Oil imports and national debt have increased in tandem ever since. We are burning so much oil that we are changing the balance of nature. What is necessary to drive a paradigm shift is a 10x benefit. It takes 10 times lower cost, 10 times better service. 10x is essential to a paradigm shift. We saw that in 1984 when communications was restored to a free market. We saw a similar 10x in transportation in the 1865 to 1869 when the transcontinental railroads were built. We can repeat that by cutting energy costs in overhead ultralight rails in urban transportation. By removing the parasitic mass and the repetitive start stops, we can radically improve the quality, safety, and convenience of riding in a city. Car-sized vehicles moving on suspended rails use a tenth the energy of cars, trains, and buses. Solar collectors mounted over the top of the rails gather 30,000 vehicle miles of power per mile of rail per day. So we can use the distributed nature of the transportation grid to harvest the energy to power urban transportation. Rescue rail version of J-Pods can be thrown up over broken heavy infrastructure to reduce the cost and tragedy of recovering from natural disasters. The path to market is to start small and iterate relentlessly. Start with small networks that cross-connect dense nodes of transportation, like airport complexes to the train stations, or airport terminals to hotels to car rentals, places that it is inconvenient to have a car, where building a network creates a one to three year payback. And then allow the nature of networks and the enormous cost savings associated with this to drive adoption. When adoption hits about 31% market share, similar to New York City, we should save families about a car payment per month. This is an example of simulation software we use to build JPOD networks. This connects Giant Stadium to this train station at Secaucus and illustrates going over to Manhattan. From the blue crosshair, where you can go in 10 minutes is in green, in 20 minutes is in yellow, and 30 minutes is in red. Millions of jobs were created when communications was restored to a free market in 1984. Similar number of jobs are expected as we retool transportation. A miniature J-Pod rail network. Of course, in real life, it'll be a, a rail but here's a pod and it's gonna follow the black lines and when it sees those little white tags, it's gonna recognize that it needs to turn and go park for a second. Over here, you'll see an XB connector and the readouts talking to the machine or to the little pod. Now, under normal circumstances, all the pods talk to each other so they behave much like bees in a hive. So I'm gonna turn this on and you'll see the data start to change. It goes over there, senses it, and comes over and stops. 10x cost savings made railroads the catalyst for changing energy systems from biofuels to fossil fuels in the 1850 to 1890 time frame. At that point in time, oil was about $100 a barrel in today's dollars. Similarly, J-Pod's 10x cost savings will be the catalyst for changing the energy systems from fossil fuels to solar allowing the solar industry to scale to commercial viability. Restoring transportation to a free market, we can power America within a solar energy budget by 2020, paid for by oil savings.